Hey Legionnaires, welcome back. And today we're going to be talking about part two of Age of Sigmar. I'm Kevin. And I'm Daryl. And we're going to be deep diving into death and destruction today. Uh, what do you think when you think death? What's your first army that pops up? Vampire counts. I had vampire counts back in the day. So, yeah. Soul Blight, Grave Lords. Um, that's vampire counts now. Gotcha. Newer army, um, <clears throat> very tempo y. Vampires leading hordes of zombie wolves, zombies, and skeletons. They resurrect. They mm -hmm. get these cool little mechanics where they, they put graveyards on the field, and that's where the zombies will come back to life, or the skeletons will come back to life. Yeah, that's cool to me. Vampires heal themselves when they do wounds. Um, Brad's actually going to be playing them in the tournament. Yeah, I, I actually really, uh, I just like the look of the new vampires. Oh I my think God. they're dope. They look fucking sick. Yeah. And and the, the knights are great too. Blood knights. Oh my so God. So good. So cool. Yeah. I had the old metal ones. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, I think you, you had given Brad one. The carriage. He the painted carriage. it very well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He yeah. took the old, um, corp, uh, not corpse cart. It's the blood, what is that? The, um, it's got a little coffin in the back. He yeah. even painted that. Coach, black coach. Black coach. Yeah. It's pretty cool. <laughs> and the vampire in it has a tie. Yeah, which is great. Which is, <laughs> was adorable. So we've got, you know, we've got that army. We've got Ozark Bone Reapers. These guys are okay. great. They're they're bone people. It's skeletons on skeletons. Yeah. And so we have Ozark Bone Reapers. They're bone people. Gotcha. So they basically will come into your town, say, hey... I need X amount of bones, otherwise we're going to kill you. Okay. And eventually you can't give them the bones. Right. So they're like lawful evil. <laughs> they play their own game. It's very strange. Um, if you want to learn how to play 3rd edition, do not play Ozark Bone Reapers. Okay. Because they, they literally ignore a lot of the core rules of the game. Oh. Very fun to paint, very easy to paint, um, but not a friendly starter army because of the rule set. But again, guys, if you like them, get them. Yeah, I, I think the, the look of them... I, I think could be cool. I'm just a little hot and cold on the way they look. It's like hit or miss. Yeah. 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 So next one, Night Haunt. Um, I'm not a fan of these guys. They're all ethereal, mm -hmm. so they fly. Flying is very good in AOS. Um, I don't really know too much about them. I think that they're super easy to paint. They have a lot of characters. They have a lot of characters, and they're very, they're very easy to get into because they're good to paint they look cool for me like i, I feel like i could run that army they're just ghosts you ghosts know. Yeah. yeah who doesn't like ghosts spooky guys i think it's a neat con uh, concept it is yeah and, and they're getting a lot more units too because their model range is very limited yeah i think 40k needs a ghost army it does that'd be pretty cool and then the last army we've got uh for death is flesh eater quartz um okay great guys this was part of vampires before, right? They're now they ghouls. split, yeah, yeah. And so they they just got a codex release recently. They mm. got an update. Everything looks really good. Um, models needed a, a, a lot of love. Um, and I actually just got into these guys, and you know, the Terrorgeist are yeah, fucking one, badass. One of the coolest looking models. So cool. for a long time, it's I mean, an old model, but Bone it holds Dragon. up. Yeah. yeah, it holds up really well, actually. Mm -hmm. You're right, yeah. And uh, so these guys are really on the table, kind of a horde army. Mm. They rely on resurrection and stuff, but they have their big baddies that roll in, and they're getting more models, guys. So these guys are super cool. They Their whole lore is they believe that they're they're really good people. They're really like knights, and they're very... They're very noble, but in reality, they're just psychopaths that mm. eat each other and flesh, and they devour everything in sight. And That's crazy. Yeah, but they're good people. <laughs> <laughs> and it's all a big delusion to them. Everything is, is insanity. That's okay. Yeah. And again, so everything is kind of under death is led by Nagash. Okay. Nagash is king dick of death. Gotcha. Uh, you can run him on the table in any of these armies. Oh, really? Yeah. And but the problem with these big, bigger models, Archeon, Nagash, and all these people, they are very, very costly. Mm. So, I wouldn't recommend starting with them. Definitely centerpieces. Yeah. Some of them can be played though. Gotcha. Yeah. Uh, and then the last um, faction is going to be destruction. And we'll start off with your favorite. That's, they're all cool in this faction. They're all honestly. Okay. okay. Um. So I have the Iron Jaws, which is part of the Auroch clans. Yep. And um, they look like they slap and they're fast. 
I get pregame move on the table. And I feel like I can really just have a beer and play this army. You totally can. <laughs> <laughs> and you get pregame move. Um, you can run the cabbages is what people call them. <laughs> the maw crushes. Yeah. I mean, that, those things are so cool. Like, look at these things. They look I so cool. really need to get one. 100%. <laughs> yeah. Or two. I had one. Someone took it. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> these things go so quick, guys. Uh, then Gloom Spike gets... Um, they just sit in a cave, get high on mushrooms, which is cool. These look hilarious. Yeah, fun to they play. Are, they're great. Do um, you like squigs? Love squigs. <laughs> Do you like stabbas? Yes. Do you like rolling up on somebody and saying, hey, take 60 attacks? <laughs> Fuck you, Archeon. Goblin knights? <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's Hell what yeah. these guys That are. whole army looks so much fun. Very vibrant. You can go crazy with the colors. Yeah. I think Brian, one of our painters as well, he's actually painting his army up, and it looks beautiful. Yeah, it looks like monochrome... It's, yeah, it's and very in the, the, the bright pinks and purples. Looks um, dope. Guys, if you haven't, check our Instagram out because we have all this stuff on there. Um, another army is going to be Ogre Maw Tribes. Okay. Very, can be a leady. I Quick question. Mm -hmm. So the trolls, the trogs. The trogs, yeah. Is that part of Gloom Spite or is that like a separate army? That's a very good question. So yeah, it's all rolled into Gloom Spite. Gets. Gotcha. So it's like a sub-faction. Okay. And I forgot to actually say that, guys. So... Um, good point, Daryl. <laughs> so we've got our main faction, and then we've got our sub factions branching off of there. I got you. Kind of like with the the Seraphon, you know. Oh yeah, you've yeah, got, right. You've got the Kotal's Claw, and then you've got the other guys. Certain factions and sub factions, though, you play almost a completely different army, but they play very similar. And again, they are technically the same army. Neat. So yeah. they can work together. Or... One hundred percent. Yeah, that's cool. Um, and so you've got your Ogre Maw tribes. You know, these guys are. Again, two sub factions. You've got the ones that are kind of the generic ogres. Mm -hmm. They're kind of elite. They're bigger and they take more hits. And then they kind of do some stuff with a cauldron where they can heal themselves. Um, they eat people and shit like that. It's pretty interesting. Then you've got your your kind of the the, the snow guys. Mm, They're riding oh yeah. on these big yeti things. And yeah, my buddy Steven has this army. Oh, does he? Yeah, it's really cool looking. It is cool. And so the, the lore is they have a curse. A witch pissed that they pissed a witch off or something and they got cursed and now this winter follows them around wherever they go and they've learned to survive and thrive in it so they ride around on these fucking yetis mammoths and shit. it's pretty yeah. it's pretty awesome uh then you got the orc war clans which we kind of talked about mm -hmm. the you know you got the orc iron jaws yeah um they have another sub faction that are just really angry it's orcs. like the swamp orcs right they're like they look like they're no all... this is they're 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 full-grown orcs but they're angry. And then you've got the swamp guys. Oh, they're talking about savage. Orcs. Savage. Yep. yep. And then you got the swamp guys. And, and again, the swamp guys, they kind of play very poison, like a okay. poison game, like a tick game. Uh, and then the savage guys kind of, they, they kind of do their own thing. Mm -hmm. uh, not many people run them. I guess there's a reason why it's kind of a niche niche. Yeah. yeah. And then finally you got your son's Bahamut. Um, that took three takes, by the way. <laughs> um, you know, these are the giants. Knights. Yeah, yeah, they're giants. They're big. They're they're ugly. Imper and the Imperial slash Chaos Knights of AOS. That's literally fat. Yeah, and uh, I think a Golden Demon was one with one of these guys. Yeah, they do that freckles. Like it was fucking yeah. <laughs> insane. The water, and everything. Maybe it's we crazy. can find that picture and post it on Instagram. But what a gorgeous! It's incredible. Yeah, and that that army is really all your eggs in one basket. Very very hard to kill. Very big. They can kick objectives around, which is a cool mechanic. That's hilarious. They're great. Can they smash buildings? They can. Okay. All all monsters can do what's called a monstrous rampage. Um, which will give you an you can attack another monster or you can literally uh, smash to rubble you can destroy terrain that sounds awesome it's really cool it, it adds a different element to the game i could definitely do this army 100 percent. yeah <laughs> so guys that's going to be it uh that wraps up all of the armies for age of sigmar uh if you guys have any questions please feel free and comment and as always like comment and subscribe i know i said comment twice because it's that important <laughs> Hope you have a great day and we'll see you again next time.